Good day guys, today we'll be talking about the Rombeck sign and the Tabes dosalis. And the question here is um, write on the signs and symptoms of the Rombeck sign or, or also known as the Tabes dosalis. Um, I think um, from my knowledge of what I understand by the Rombeck sign, um, this is when um, a patient can be able to stand with their legs together when their eyes is open. But the moment you close their eye, the patient will not be able to know where their balance is and they could fall. Okay, that's the Rombeck sign. Now, in Tabes dosal, it's also known as the Rombeck sign. There's complete destruction of the fibers of the dosal roots, resulting in the following manifestation. There's loss of reflexes due to the interruption of the related reflexes. Uh, there's loss of pain and temperature sensibility in the related skin segment supplied by the dosal root. Okay. Um, testing for Rombeck sign, you ask the patients to stand with their heels together, first with the eyes open, then with the eyes closed, right? So if the patient is affected, once they close their eye, you will see them on the floor, okay? That's how to test for Rombeck sign. Um, there's loss of proprioceptive um, sensation and sense of descriptive touch in the segments of the body supplied by the damaged root. Thus, Loss of discriminative touch, which results in defecting contribution of fibers to the posterior medial lemniscal pathway, resulting in sensory ataxia. Now, um, testing the sensory ataxia, I said that it can be tested. It can be tested clinically with uh, the partial standing. Uh, oh, sorry, with the patient standing with his feet together, close together, his body staggers and it falls due to the lack of what balance. Okay. Now, um, this is more marked with the patient's eyes closed. Okay, so um, even when the patient's eyes are open, the patient can be staggering. But once they close their eye, they lost their whole balance, okay? They don't even know if they are standing or not. So to differentiate sensory ataxia from cerebral ataxia, which persists even with the eyes open, such test is what called what? Rombeck's sign, all right? So Rombeck's sign is basically a test right to differentiate between sensory ataxia and cerebral ataxia sensory ataxia is um i think um cerebral ataxia is a chronic part of sensory ataxia it will affect you even when um you open your eyes but in sensory ataxia when your eyes is open you won't really fall though the patient will really fall but you'll be staggering all right the balance will be shaking like that but once they close their eye, they are off. Okay, so that's the Rombeck sign, guys. And um, see you in the next tutorial. And bye for now.